Hello, welcome to my channel Green Wombat for you all that uh, celebrate uh, Christmas then happy happy Christmas for you and if you don't then well happy holiday uh, sorry for the late update uh, I was sick and yeah just getting better uh, right now is uh, right now I'm, I'm, I'm better uh, and today's video we are going to discuss uh, about uh, something that we call uh, wavelength or, or sound sound, uh, uh, sound wave and yeah if you like my content then you can help me grow uh, my channel by subscribing or, or maybe share share this video to your friend uh, and sorry for for my bad English I know that uh, my English is pretty bad and I try to uh, be better I learn every day so yeah <laughs> bear with me okay uh, first of all uh, Actually, this this discussion topic is not really for my English speaking uh, viewers because, well, uh, I believe there is no no like uh, a great debate in 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 other country. Uh, this debate only happen in Indonesia. Like, uh, why why Harley Davidson or Harley Davidson or or big cylinder capacity bike uh, allowed to use uh, their their loud exhaust while uh, the lower capacity engine didn't really get the permission. Well, that's not technical, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, either either way, uh, if even if you have a uh, one thousand and four hundred uh, cylinder capacity engine, and if you use a loud exhaust, you will be get punished uh, by the Indonesian law. So yeah. Uh, well, I think <laughs> uh, that's the intro. Let's get into it. Okay. First of all, we have to understand what is a sound. Okay, uh, a sound is something like a wave. So, so it it, it was moving like a wave. Um, it, it isn't like, uh, you know, it, it needs sorry, it needs a median, uh, to to you know, to spread uh, the wave itself, and then, uh, the wave will will stimulate our our uh, eardrums, and then it it will send the signal to our brain, and it will create something that we call a sound. Either it is uh, it was uh, it was loud or, or even just a small sound. Well, basically, human can uh, sorry not basically but generally, uh, human uh, could hear around twenty uh, until twenty thousand hertz. Uh, so let's get to the basic. What is hertz? Hertz itself is something uh, you know the the time or the amount of uh, of the wave. That happen in uh, in a second. So if if you if you look at this uh, equation, uh, fre uh, frequency uh, is the wavelength. So this is the the, the, the wavelength, and then uh, divided by time. So uh, well, if you want to make things uh, a little bit simpler, you can you can uh, use your your uh, equation like uh, one divided by by t. Uh, so yeah, just like that. Uh, for example, if if you have uh, a two wave in one second, it means it is two hertz. So if if you have twenty twenty wavelength in a second, it means that it is twenty hertz. Yeah, just like that. It is it is actually pretty simple, not not really that uh, complicated. Uh, okay, so. <sighs> Does that mean? Uh, does it mean that hertz itself uh, means a loud or or, or uh, how we measure the loud itself? Well, not really. Uh, to to measure how loud the sound is, we have to understand how uh, the the basic principle of of the of the sound, how it generate, how it flows, etc. etc. So, right here. I'm sorry. Yeah, right here. Uh, it was to zoom in sorry sorry about that <laughs> sorry about that okay right here okay you can see that i was creating some sort of uh, particles uh, well uh, a wave uh, sorry a sound wave could uh, travel with any particles basically it, it could travel in air it could travel in uh, fluid etc so yeah uh, the particles uh, when when the sound sorry 
So the sound itself has as something that that uh, pressurize the particles like this uh, like this part, and then uh, the second was is the uh, uh, the second the, the second part was when the pressure uh, was getting low, uh, was getting lower. So yeah, so this is the the neutral state, and then yeah, basically just like that, and then uh, for the first part, it will compress. So so you you can see here. Uh, in the first half or the, uh, in the first part uh, the 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 air become pressurized or or, or the particles become uh, pressurized and then in the second part it will uh, lower the, the pressure and then it will you know tickles our eardrum sensory and then uh, send the signal to our brain so yeah and then the hertz itself doesn't doesn't really mean uh, uh sorry didn't really uh sorry doesn't directly uh how we measured how the loud uh how loud the 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 sound itself so yeah uh because uh the hertz only 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 you know picture how much uh, the wavelength uh repeated in once uh in one second well our uh, our eardrums uh, determine how loud the, the sound is uh, using uh, the the, uh, the pressure and uh, uh, and the low pressure uh, section of the uh, of the sound itself uh, of, of the sound wave itself so yeah uh, when when our eardrums uh, get tickles like uh, very very loud it means that it gets a lot more high pressure so yeah and then, then the for, for the simplicity i would like to say that the more amplitude of the of the sound wave then uh, the higher of the pressure so so this is how we measure uh, the the loudness of the of the sound itself so yeah basically just like that and then i believe it is it is pretty simple so uh, more hertz doesn't really mean it is louder but the, the more amplitude in the sound wave uh, the more loud the sound uh, uh, the sound be, uh, the sound itself uh, and then but, uh, sorry uh, previously I, I, I was saying that the hertz it's uh, the hertz doesn't really uh, directly doesn't uh, you know you know directly uh, affect the loudness of the sound but uh, well we already talked that a, a sound move like a wave you know you know when 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 the water uh, have, have a wave on the surface and then and it it meets another another wave it will create a higher higher tide so yeah uh, in in uh, it will it will you know work like that too in in the sound uh, in the sound wave so yeah if if you you know the the first sound uh, the first sound wave was like this and then it, it meets or uh, it res resonate with another another sound like this and it, it will create uh, a higher uh, amplitude so if if you draw a neutral line if it was just uh, a single sound and then yeah the, the the amplitude only only reach here meanwhile if if you have uh, two sound uh, and then it will it will reach until this section so yeah uh, and then uh, is bigger cylinder capacity engine create uh, more loud sound or, or, or louder sound sorry or create a louder sound well I don't think that I I, I, I could agree a hundred percent with that because it depends on how you ride the the motorcycle for example a kawasaki er6n uh, in in the sixth gear uh, it uh, in in the sixth gear it reached 170 uh, sorry 107 km an hour with only using uh, 5000 rpm meanwhile the a kawasaki ex250 or or we we all said uh, ninja 250 it will reach 100 uh, seven kilometer an hour with uh, the engine revolution uh, ten thousands. So, uh, 
both of the bike using two cylinders engine but it, it it has different cylinder capacity so yeah a kawasaki ex uh, sorry a kawasaki ninja 25 uh, sorry 250 will uh, you know have uh, more more wave like this in in a second because the engine revolution is much higher or well we can say it two times than the kawasaki r6n or ninja 650 uh, but the kawasaki er6n will create longer wavelength so yeah that's why if we you know start the engine it will uh, felt like uh, the surrounding is you know trembling <laughs> not really trembling but you can feel the uh, the different pressure of the air of the surrounding exhaust of the kawasaki r 6 n compared to the kawasaki ninja 250 so yeah basically that's all and yeah i will edit this video and maybe at, at this part i will i will show that my kawasaki er6 and even though it was using a short uh, a short pipe a short pipe uh, exhaust system and it was using a short cylinder uh, cylinder too it will only produce around well 80 maybe 80 80 decibel well i, I will edit that uh, in this video i think uh, yeah, that's it for today. If yeah, again, if you like my video, you can you can like or you can subs or you can share uh, my video. If you don't like, well, feel free to, you know, dislike my video, or or maybe if I have something wrong, uh, in this video, you can you can correct me, in the comment section, etc. etc. And I have uh, Instagram. You can follow me on my Instagram if if you want. Uh, well, maybe I don't really create a good content. I, I can't really take a photo of anything. So yeah, uh, I will I will I will put uh, my Instagram uh, maybe like right here. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that's enough uh, shameless self promotion there. And happy happy holiday.